presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, man. Again. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. You're feeling anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 80, NASDAQ off 7.5, SPs off 2. Gold, gold contract down $19.70, trading at 19.53 an ounce. We have silver up a penny, $22.60 an ounce, light sweet crude off a buck 83. $75.54 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note up six ticks, trading 108.10. The 30 year up 29 ticks at 114.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 50 ticks, 105.590. Euro at 107. Yen's at uh, 151. British pounds at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. and the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, yeah. Took a lot of energy to get up here, folks. This is the building cause to get the higher price. So you can see that right where we are, this is, you know, this flack right here. There's no doubt about it. You know, we're fast and furious up there. We've been four days going sideways. We'll see how many more days you're going to go sideways. It's trying to take out this whole area here. That's, that's what it comes down to. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same type of setup inside the queues. What do you have with the queues? Right now, the queues are trading. Down 23 cents, sideways move, inside inside day, but you can also see the same type of setup, man. You're just laying right across these. So, notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. So we have with the 10-year note, what you have, you know, we're going to need some more volume in order to sustain higher price in this 10-year. We're at 1.5 million contracts right now. You know, we had the swing come in at the uh, 2.8. So, you know, last Friday it was 2.8, it had volume, took out a swing point, that says you're gonna be back up there. But you can see, you know, the last couple of days there hasn't been a lot of volume. My take is that we're taking it out. You know, we'll just see how this shakes out. Because it, it is good when you start going sideways, because you can see what happened is that when we had the wide price spread accelerated volume, we broke the downtrend. So that's this is saying that a 10 year wants to go to the 114 level and we're at 108. Now watch how this goes. At the at the 114, if you look down the bottom here, see this July, is that July? Yeah, July 14th. See that right there? July, it's July 18th, actually. Now watch this. I'm gonna turn around and we just go like this. 10 year yield. Now watch how this goes. 10 year yield. Bar chart. What does it say? Let's try this one. Let's do this one right here. Okay, cool. This does it. Okay, you can see what's happening here. If you're watching Tiger TV, we're at 4.517 right now, right? Now you go to July 18th, okay? Because that's where this thing is setting up. Now, we're at 4.5. Is this July 18th? What is it? Yeah, approximately July 18th. 
That's saying that number one, when this, I just showed you that how we broke the downtrend. So that means it goes to the top of the range. You go to the top of the range, that means we come down another half a percent because that's four point right there, 4.00, 4.08. And what has happened, okay, is the mortgage rates. Now, check. So right now we're at 4.6. I mean, 7.6. Now, that was the largest drop in one week for a whole year, folks, okay? <laughs> That's how intense it was. And then just because of that, you had the mortgage application is actually up uh, 3% in one week. So it's going to get intriguing to see. The faster the drop, of course, the more the, the more mortgage. The, people that are going to go for a mortgage, go for a refinance, and go for all, all of that. We're going to take a look at the gold contract. With the other the gold contract, we're pulling back on gold with dramatically lighter volume. We're talking about 1.6, no, 162,000 contracts coming into 270. Yeah, we're at 270 right here. Let me, let me put this volume up so you can see this. And we're not even at a 0 0.382 retracement yet. So the gold contract can go to lo lower price. And, you know, we'll see when we, get the, when we get the rejection. You know, there's another spot right underneath here that was a huge sign of strength. You can see that that was at the uh, 1946 level. Or 19, the high was 1946. That low there was uh, 1881, actually. That was a huge day. But you can see the contraction. The contraction is pretty dramatic. And most times you see that contraction, bottom line is not enough sellers. And that means we're still going to higher price. Then we go over to King Dollar. Now, this is the kicker, man. Because when we take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see here is that each day it's having a hard time to try to get back in its higher range. That's how this is shaken out. You know, we, we saw that you, break, you broke the consolidation. We both break the trend line first on the way up. Then we broke the consolidation. And you can see that consolidation was going on for approximately three weeks. Then it broke down. Now you're trying to get back in the higher range. Now that higher range starts at 109.559. And you can see we're at 109, I mean 105. One second, yeah, 105. Hold it, no. 105? Yeah, it's 105.559. And we're at 105. 575. We tried it yesterday, couldn't handle it. Come up today, couldn't handle it. That's telling me that what? That we are on our way, bingo, right down here. That's, and that move, well, first that move, I suspect we'll get some support at 104, yeah, the 104, 699 level, because that's where we broke out from. But all of this down here, this wants lower price. Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market. Oil's been getting toasted and roasted. And we take a look at that oil market out here. Yeah, you're down with volume again. Oil's on its way to 72 bucks, man. Yep. We're at uh, 75.60. We hit 74.91. You get 396,000 contracts, so you're still coming down, you know, with volume. And there's, there's just nothing. You're, you're right in the middle. There's nothing here to hold oil up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industrials right now down 60. Get the Nasdaq off nine and a half. S and P's are flat. Let's go take a look at Newmont uh, for a couple of the targets out here. So, if we take a look at Newmont, the low for the year is today, 34.53. The high is 55. There's something wrong with the stock, folks. Okay, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, I've been talking about this for quite a while, actually, inside the Gold Report. Uh, if you take a look at this. You know, you're down 12 million shares today. You're taking out a swing point. Um, that had 10, yeah, it had 10 million. That's a problem, man. Let me, let me look at this. You better be careful with this stock, though, because this doesn't make any sense. That gold's been up so high. And it, it, what's intriguing is that not only uh, Newmont, you know, uh, Barrick, the two largest companies are having a problem here, man. So when you take a look at this, you can see that you're down from 86. Now, that's, that's going back quite some time. That's going back to, you know, 2022, the beginning of 2022. No, May of 2022. So, yeah, I make, I make sure I put a stop on this. That's the bottom line. Let's see what they have to say here. Uh, yeah, there's, okay, now PHDC. Let, let's see who's selling this thing, okay? So what I'm going to bring up is I'm going to bring up the sellers and buyers in this equity. We can see if we can take a look at this. So first I'm going to go, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'll go to the latest changes. And then what you're looking for here, folks, you can see all the green, but you're looking on the, on the far right, you're looking for November. See, like right here, so someone bought 933,000. That was Citicorp. They bought that yesterday. They filed for it yesterday, so they, bought, they probably bought it yesterday, the day before. And there's not much else, else out there. Okay, you can see that's, that's, a, that's a new one. 933 now they own 9.6 million now let's do cells now when we do cells you're going to see okay right here we had oh he they bailed all the way out look at this thing here what was this now you had a seller yesterday that sold a million shares only has 139,000 left and that is 
Did I get this right? Just trying to bring this over. I'm not sure who this is. Grace Partners of DuPage. Okay, let's see if we have any others out here. So, we don't have any others out here. You know, so it's, right now, that thing, there's something wrong with it, for sure. And it, listen, it may be that they get lined up to buy a couple bigger companies and, you know, someone knows something. You know, who knows? But I want to go to Barrick for a second, too, because it seems that when I've been doing the gold report, the two largest equities and the gold business can't catch a bid. You know, if we take a look at Barrick, what you have is that you're trading 15 bucks. You know, you're down from 30. So that's not, not as bad as Newmont. Newmont's down from 84, okay? So this still get cut in half. Now this is a better setup. There's no doubt this is a better setup, but my concern is that it's still like, why, why can't you get any traction out of these things when the price of gold went up pretty dramatically? You know, so Barrick is looking to do revenue. They're going to come out the 15th. They're looking to do revenue 3.2 billion, bring 24 cents to the bottom line. Yeah, so we'll see where this whole thing shakes out, man. Um, if we go to the gold contract now, I'm going to put the generic one up because the gold contract is set up to go to this 25 to 2700 dollars and i'll show you how this thing is set up here we bring this back i'll put it on a monthly we've been up at these levels trying to bust the top level three different times and you can see each time it's failed one two three that being said what we do have is this, you know, you're talking like a huge A to B, B to C, even if I do this one, I do this one, that's the one that's, yeah, 1100, that's, that's the, the run from 2000 to 2011, and then your contraction comes back to 2004. 15, that's the one that, that was a 50% retracement on the way back. That's the one that has a price projection of about 20, 2,500. These other ones in here, you can actually get to about 2,700. Now that's 500 bucks from where we are. But that being said, we're already up 300 bucks. No, we're already up $400. And you can see that these equities, that the two large equities haven't moved. So that's something to, you know, if you're in, if you're in the gold market, that's something you want to wrap your head around. There's no, there's no doubt about it because, you know, why? You know, now, if you take a look at it, let's just go to, there's a, there's a couple that are strong, you know, um, Anglo Ashanti strong, you know, this is, you know, it, this is just in a consolidation. You know, you're off a low of 14, you're at 18.45. This loves trading in, in, inside a consolidation. The top of this consolidation is 36, I think. Yeah, it's 36. So this came, this one here came back to strength, took off out of strength. Now the building costs for higher price. The um, now let's swap there and then go into the XLE. Because if we take a look at the XLE, you know, we just went through the oil market. And what you're going to see, you know, the oil market wants a lot lower price. And you're going to see, there it is. And the XLE, it has volume behind the move. You broke the consolidation. Yeah, this is not good. If you, you just, it's a heads up, man. Uh, so your first XLE is trading 82.86, you know, 82.51, you got a little support, but realistically, you're going to, let me pull this, I, I, it looks to me like you're going to get to the bottom of the range. Yeah. So your bottom of this range is the 75 or at 82. 
We'll see what happens at 75. You can see, and you can also see the 75. That's a high volume high, low. See that baby stick, sticking out like a sore thumb. So we're getting down there. The cool thing is that if you do look at this, you know, you don't have higher highs, but you do have three higher lows, four, four higher lows, actually. You know, so we'll, we'll see how it gets down there. But huge amount of volatility inside, inside the oil market. And more than likely, you know, a lot of that has to do with China. You know, the, when we come back, I'll show you that Baltic index. That Baltic index is something else, man. You know, we went from 5650 to uh, 1523. Now, what that Baltic index is showing, you know, if you think we're still in inflation, just think about the, as this break is coming on, just think about the amount of containers, I'm gonna try to Google it, uh, that a Walmart or a uh, Amazon moves from China to the US. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 78, NASDAQ's off 10, S&P's are off 175. Now, so to check this out, let me put this up here for you for a second. This is really cool. I'm gonna put the Baltic Index up. Let's see. One second.
Sorry, folks, I get this. Okay, there it is. Okay, so when you see this, I'll, I'll get this correlation for you because this is pretty intense. And this is, you know, it's interesting every time when I'm driving into work, whether I'm listening to Bloomberg, 7 in the morning, whatever it is, it's like when people keep talking about that, you know, inflation, you know, is not going away and all that, it's like I, they're, they're not thinking this true as to where some of the biggest expenses are. And this is one of them. So when you take a look at this, what you're going to see is this. Th now, the way this is little tiny dots, but you're going to see the top of this ratio here. Well, the top of this ratio, is that 20? What's the top of this? I mean, this is the dry, this is the dry index. I see what's going on. Okay. Anyway, the top of this is 2,100. We're at 15 right now. So that's only 20, 25%, right? Now, here's the number. Let me see if I can... Because there's another one that starts at 56, and we're at 1523. Let me just see if I can get this. Uh, value 1559. Let's try this one. I think it's the same one. Yeah, it's probably the same one. Any, well, maybe it's not. Let's see. Anyway, it's the equivalent. So check this out. So Walmart does approximately 20... As a 40-foot container, they, it looks like they do about, excuse me, folks, a half million of them a year. It seems to me that they do more than that. But here's the point. At the peak of the container and the supply chain crisis, folks, right, one container from Shanghai to the east coast of Florida, or east coast, no, just the east coast, was 14,500. Okay, just give me a couple quotes. Let's see, in the Tigers then. Give me a couple quotes as to maybe I already told you what these numbers, but you're going to blow your mind what these numbers are right now. Where are you? Anyway, right now, $1,625. Yeah, that's, that's the correlation. Now, the $1,625, it, it always oscillated between... The 16 to basically 1850 number. But you can imagine, just, you know, do the math on the peak of 14,500 in 16 and 1,625 bucks right now. Now, the rate, the rate that I'm giving you there is not the rate that a Walmart or a Amazon would have. They get, it, when, when, it, when I'm giving you the 14,000 rate, they could have been at six or seven or eight. You know, that's real possible. Um, these are spot rates and vice versa. My point is, is this, it's thousands of dollars per 40 foot container. And I don't care what store you go in, you know, most of that stuff is still from China. So you can see, right off the bat that the rate of prices, that is one place that the rate of prices went down astronomically. And listen, they're not gonna, you know, they, they can come back, but they're not gonna be back to anywhere near, you know, until, until that pandemic, I never saw a container, let me see, what was the highest I saw? I, I might have saw containers, Shanghai, you know, to the east coast of Florida, 1950. You know, I, I don't think I ever saw one over 2,000. Now, what's really cool here, so when you take that number, that number's a huge number in itself, right? When you go to Amazon, so check out what Amazon does. Amazon actually, so there's a couple different ways that you can do the container deal coming from China to the U.S., you can turn around and actually buy the container. Or if you don't buy the container, the way that it works is that you have basically 48 to 72 hours to unload the container, and then they pick it back up, okay? Amazon got so smart years ago, they actually make their own containers. They make their own containers. Now, that saves. What happens there is that it saves you 
like if you're buying brand new containers in China, they normally run about six, six grand. And they're worth a lot more than six grand, but that's what they cost in China. That, and I'm talking about brand new. Not, that's, that hasn't been used once. So what people like to do is that some people, you know, you've seen this at Walmart, if, you know, the big containers that are laying outside. In Amazon's case, they really got it down pat because they own the containers. And so that saves an additional amount of money because of the fact of when you bring these in, you have to unload them ASAP. You got to get rid of the goods and the whole ball of wax. But my point is, is that the inflation deal has come down so dramatically and so fast. And now, if we start looking at this oil contract, okay, the bottom line is that, you know, that's, you know, that's, that, that is going to start hitting numbers in about another month. And they're big numbers, because if we go look at oil, look, just look at this for a second. I mean, this is quite a hit. And what is happening is that, you know, a lot of this has to do with China because, you know, they're not busy. They're not busy at all. If we take a look at this oil contract, what you're going to see is that we just went, where, where is that number there? Yeah, we just went from 97 uh, in September. The end of September, we're at 97. You're at 75. That is a big number, folks. And it looks to me like we went out of 72. And then if we, you know, well, we'll see whether we break the 72. And that's with, you know, the Middle East being in an uproar. The Saudis continuing to basically squeeze as much price as they can get out of the oil market. But you can see that there's not enough buyers. There's still more supply than there are buyers. So what does that do to inflation? That brings it down also. My point in all of this is that you're going to see those rates keep going, getting lower, and we could get higher price. And then the aspect of higher price, lower rates equals what? Equals lower dollar. Dow. Dow Industrial's down 74. Nasdaq's off 10. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. 
Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, let's, we're going to do the same exercise with a 30-year bond. A couple of the Tigers want to take a look at this 30-year bond. So first, let's get the 30-year up. U.S. Okay. So, same setup, man. Gotta like it. And see, the 30 year, this is actually moving faster than the 10 year. Look at this. Let's see some. Still gonna need more volume, but you can see it's moving faster. Okay, so the 30 year, same deal. Broke, broke its downtrend with conviction. And. Same deal, July 18th. Okay, so now, okay, so we're at 115. But here, let's do this. Okay, so 30 year. And right now, 30 year is yielding 4.6, okay? 30 year. Bond, no, yeah, bond yield. Okay, so now let's look at this, just the opposite way. 5 and 30. Cool, okay, this is it. Okay, so we're at 4.6. If we do the same deal as the 18th, July 18th, no, July 18th is July 14th. That's going to get you, we're at 4.6, approximately 4. Point, exactly, 4.08. That's how this thing's shaking out. These rates are coming down, man. That's, that's the bottom line. And the thing that is, you can see this, this is a break with conviction. So this is actually saying 3.8. And it won't take, you know, something that you want to keep in mind, folks, okay, is that just as in the equity market, you know, when you normally go up in the equity market and the currency market, whatever market you're going up on, okay, you, you go chop, 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 you're going up very slow. When these things turn and go south, they go like, you know, it's an escalator up, it's an elevator down. You can expect the exact same thing inside the rate structure. Um, yeah. So I'm not quite sure we just hit the marketplace, but the S&Ps just went from minus two to plus six. See, they, they just want higher price, man. You know, that's the bottom line. And if you, uh, um, if you went to Tim Wood's uh, workshop last night, great workshop, you know, it was awesome workshop. Uh, what he had brought up on my program yesterday also was the fact that if the S&P is, and this is 100%, it was up seven days in a row, five days later, you're, you're still at higher price. This looks to me that this just doesn't want to stop right now. They're going to run these babies because of the fact that they're, you know, and he, he brought up the, um, the retail, I forgot what it calls, institution, not, not the retail, the retail investors, that went into a bearish deal again and I can understand why, okay, because this, this, this was so fast, okay, that I can understand people say, oh, oh, oh it's got, we need to pull back, we need to pull back. I've seen plenty of times, folks, okay, um, that when you actually come off a low, and we come off this low with some big volume, 
if if it doesn't stop, <laughs> you're going to get like a rally like beyond belief, you know, and it will stop at some point, but it will stop when they get everyone long, you know, and I, it looks to me like this is what we're facing right now. You know, so if I take a look at, I'm just curious as what, what the juice was put into this and see if we have some volume. Yeah, look at it. We have volume in the move too. If you take a look at this, you're going to see that the high for the day in the S&Ps is 4407. We're at 4402. And, you know, let me see. We're six minutes into the 10 minute bar and you can see the expansion of volume. And it's much bigger. Okay, so at the highs today, at the highs today, we did. Where are you? Only 15,000 contracts. Well, we just did 36, 34,000 contracts in six minutes. Six, seven minutes. So they're going to try to blow this thing away, even as we come into the close right now. When you get, actually, because this is an ABC up here. Yeah, hold on one second. Hold on, let me do it this way. <laughs> this is crazy. So that's 47.08. Oh, is it 46? Oh, I wish I could see. 40. What's happening, folks? The screens are just a little too far away from me. And since I only got one eye now, it's a whole different ballgame. 47.08. One second. And 40. Uh, that can't be it. No. Oh, yeah, no, 44. I see what's going on. Okay. I was going to say, man, that's crazy. 43.98. I got it. Sorry. 43.98. Okay, so that's a 13.8 A to B. And then if we take the, that means uh, 4,400, 4,403. Oh, uh, that's just saying it's going to go to the highs. This is an ABC up to the highs. That's how this is set up right now. That's how this is shaking out. You get your A to B, you just took out your B with volume. Let's just say it's going to go press the highs. And if that's what we do, we go over to the SPY for a second and take a look at the SPY. The SPY's going to need more volume here, man. There's no doubt about that. You know, you can see you're in the higher range now, though. It, 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 it popped in the higher range. What we do have is Thursday and Friday, you know, you could get some real juice going here, man. You know, and stat-wise, we know that if we use the stat from the seven days up, five days later, you're higher. So let's do that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That would be next Tuesday. And then on top of that, if you take the aspect of November is one of the strongest trading months of the year, you take that into consideration, you know, it's like what that's telling me, and I'm going to go right back to the dollar because, this, see, this dollar looks like to me it's going to fall apart. Not fall apart, but the bottom line is that, you know, it wants lower price. When you have two days in a row that you can't hold that price, you know, right now we're only up six ticks in the dollar. And remember I brought up that, that number, it's 104, uh, 105, 559 when we started it. Well, guess what? You're underneath it now. Now it's 548. So what's happening, and this is, you know, it's, it's so wild, man, that, like, how does this actually work? I mean, and I've been doing this like 35, 40 years now, and it's like, okay, how does, it, how does the market know? Well, these are the buyers and sellers. That you broke the consolidation, you broke it with conviction, it's trying to get into it again, it can't get into it, because the sellers are still there. So... All this is doing is setting up the next leg down inside of the dollar. And the next leg down inside of the dollar is going to give the market more breathing room. Stay right there, folks. Come right back Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 30. Nasdaq's up 8. S&P's up 5.5. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And, you know, we saw WeWork uh, basically go BK. And, you know, Adam Newman, that was the, the dude who started it. So check it out, man. He's still a billionaire, though. <laughs> listen, listen to these numbers, folks. This is, like, pretty amazing. When this was shaken out in 2019, I, it, 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 listen, I, I don't know why they had to pay him off, but they did. So listen to these numbers, man. This is, like, sick. So in the filings that they just put right now, they had that he got $185 million as a non-compete agreement. He got 106 million as a settlement. He received 578 million for his shares. And then on top of that, listen to this one, man. He took a loan out, it must be from, the, from SoftBank, right? Of 432 million, it was secured by WeWork shares, okay? So right there, this $1.4 billion. Not bad, huh? For a day for a stock that, uh, you know, went south. Um, pretty amazing, actually. And what is going to happen there is that New York and San Francisco are going to get hit pretty hard. And, and so is the, the, the collateral behind them, you know. Uh, and it, this was as big, so check this out. So collateralized commercial loans, right, that SoftBank and, well, we work one or two, all these large office buildings, they leased them, and then the office building went out and got money on the leases, right? Well, it's 1% of the whole market. 
and this, you know, commercial mortgage-backed security market is huge. It's one percent. With the bulk of t 20 of that percent is in New York and San Francisco. So there's going to be a lot of space in New York and San Francisco that is going to be marked to market, which is, you know, the commercial market is just pretty intense. Rough meaning. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.